Eva Lovelies at Serenity from AuraAngelArt.etsy.com and welcome to my latest art journal video and if you've been watching my last few art journal videos you'll know that I'm doing a series of goddesses that are based on the oracle deck called Sacred Mothers and Goddesses by Claudia Olivos and today's goddess that I've chosen is Vesna and she's all about awakening and victory um, so it says to call on Vesna if you feel confused, stuck, and to help awaken your true purpose and passion in life. Excuse my front door going while I'm talking. Um, and it says, Vesna's message, victory has come or is on its way. Stay on course and focus on your role. Allow things to blossom in their season. As you continue to grow from a tight bud into your fully flowered, flowered awakening, help will be given so you see life, the universe, as it really is. I thought that was a lovely message. Um, so this is the little version of Vesna that I did myself. I picked up on some of the designs in the original card and kind of went my own way as well. So um, I started with a layer of collage papers and I used my Mod Podge mat to glue those into place i then added a couple of different acrylic paints to the background um, a metallic sapphire and a teal and i just kind of smooshed them around with those um collage papers just to kind of bring them together and then i used various different tools to create all the little circles and dots so i have these little sponges and i have I think my husband is outside cutting the grass, incidentally, that's why <laughs> there's so much noise in the background. And I have these little dot tools as well that I used to create the smaller ones. I also did a little bit of splatter with my white acrylic ink in the background. And then I went on to create my goddess in the centre. So I used the usual supplies really for her. Portrait Pink is the acrylic paint that I used for her skin tone. Um, I used some pit pens and some Neo Art bars, which are very similar to the um, Neo Color 2 crayons by Caran Dash. And I used my Prismacolor pencils for the shading for her face. And for the orange dots and things in the background and for her dress, I used this pumpkin acrylic paint and some golden Indian yellow hue. I'd forgotten how much I like that colour actually. It's not one I use all the time, but I really like it when I do use it. Um, and I also put some butterfly wings on her. I created her kind of aura slash headdress from a little bit of a, just a doily. Um, and it looks quite nice. I'm not 100% happy with the positioning of it. It's really hard to get it in the place you want because it's so fragile. It moves so much when you're gluing it in place. And I added some little bees um, to decorate it. And also some pin flare glitter wand dots to make it extra sparkly. And I used my gelatos for this headdress slash aura. And I used mango and tangerine. They're the two colours that I used there. Um, I used my Neo Colour 2s for her hair. The first layers of her hair. And I also used this buttermilk and iridescent bright gold acrylic paint for her hair as well. I used my Uniball Fine pen for the finer details. My Stabilo All pencil for finishing touches and my Jane Davenport paint over pen for her highlights and I used this Pentel paint marker to add some little gold sparkly dots into her hair and I think, I think, I think that's everything that I used for this little page. So I hope you enjoy seeing her come to life in the video to follow um, and if you do like my art you can head over to my Etsy shop, I'll put the link in the description box and there you can find lots of different art pieces and also a few little e-courses that you might like to try if you want to have a go at creating some art yourself. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.